young people who run apprenticeships, for example, or traineeships like solicitors working virtually or not being able to get back into the office or your working environment is having a massive impact on whether or not they can actually complete their apprenticeships, their coursework in some cases, which this article specifically talks about. For that, they need to get into their work experience, be actually working on the job that they're doing, be in the office, you know, hear from other more experienced people. That's how they gain that experience. And of course, due to the pandemic, they're not being able to do any of those things. So they're either out of work or stuck between a rock and a hard place where they can't complete either coursework or apprenticeships. Mm. Um, So this article is talking about how how do they deal with that? And there are some government schemes that are in place. There's a a uh, Kickstarter scheme, for example, um, that is trying to plug this skills gap, putting young people back into work for fixed periods of time just to get them over this difficult period. But of course, there's the hospitality sector, which I know you were speaking about last week, has been massively impacted. And a lot of these young people are working in that sector. And there is an initial demand now as the sector comes out of hibernation and with particular needs for chefs but how can we make more people aware more young people aware of the schemes how can we get them back in work and get them out of the situations that they're in which is proving to be really problematic and of course there's a huge irony in all of this that in in the time where the technology that that group of people are most comfortable with compared to older generations they're unable to to benefit from that because they haven't yet learn the skills and the, had gained the knowledge that they can then take away and, and adapt remotely. 